Hello, thank you for tuning in to another Generation Gap Reacts video. Wow, I was about to say the artist. We're listening to the Righteous Brothers. <laughs> thank you for watching another Righteous Brothers video. We are listening to Generation Gap Reacts. <laughs> whoops. So, so, whoops. Generation Gap Reacts, we're listening to the Righteous Brothers and the song is Rock and Roll Heaven. And this was our second place winner in our Patreon poll. The um, Holly Song Cool, Long Cool Woman in a Black Dress won. And unfortunately, YouTube blocked it. So that was, that was very sad. But this song was second place. So we have included it in this week's lineup. I have not heard this song before. Have you heard the song before? Yes, I have. Okay, of course you have. Of course mom has. I'm the old one. <laughs> Well, you haven't heard all the older songs That's we've true. listened to. So That's true. I, I just like to ask because sometimes it's fun when um, neither of us have heard a song and we get to kind of hear it together for the first time. And sometimes sometimes I don't even remember. I either don't remember the the name of the song and then once I start listening, then it, yeah, comes, it comes back, back to, to me you. because it's been many, many years in yeah. some cases. All right, well, I am really excited. I have loved every single song we have reacted to by the Righteous Brothers. They are incredible. I have no doubt this will be exactly the same. So, are you ready? I am ready. All right, let's get started. different. Okay, what year did this come out? 1974. Okay, this has a completely different feel than their songs that came out in the 60s, which makes sense. You know, music changes and evolved as time went on. Much, much different. But still iconic Bill and Bobby voices. And I mean, I could have gathered from the song title, Rock and Roll Heaven, but I didn't know it was like a tribute song to to musicians who have passed on. So that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And I loved seeing their pictures, Jim Morrison, Janis Joplin. I, I mean, I just, Otis Redding, I loved seeing their pictures. And it's getting me kind of emotional seeing their pictures kind of show up on the screen. I know I'm missing one. Who was the first one? Oh, 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 the first one was Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. Yeah, so I, this is such a cool song that is like a tribute to all these rock and roll musicians. Wasn't that creative? It was very creative. I love it so far. And then of course with Bill's super deep voice and then as soon as Bobby comes in, it has that amazing contrast. Mm -hmm. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay.
Fantastic. Fantastic. And I just have to say, I don't think we've ever pointed out in any of our other Righteous Brothers reaction videos how handsome they are. <laughs> I can't believe that's never been said. Are you sure? I'm pretty I sure. I was thinking the same thing. In the 60s, they were so handsome with their clean cut look. Yes. And then with the 70s, it's clearly 70s. Very and they 70s. They look so hip with their longer hair and their long sideburns and their beautiful blue eyes. Bill has a very nice like jaw side profile. Just have to point that out. I'm appreciating the look but they do look completely different from their other songs that came out in the mm -hmm. 60s but again like I said the music kind of changed, style changes. So for me it was just kind of a shock to see them dressed this way because Bill almost has like a very Bee Gees style going oh, on. He yeah. has like a Barry Gibb kind of thing yeah. going on. So um, I, I absolutely love it. I love the song. And there's a lot of artists that they mention in this song that we haven't even covered on the channel yet. You know, Janice, Jim, I think pretty much all, all of them. All of them would be Jim fantastic. Crouchy. Yeah, there were so many of Otis them. Otis Redding. There were so many that we haven't even covered but I just love that this is a tribute song but not a sad tribute song. That's what I kind of like about this is a lot of tribute songs have that tinge of sadness because of course it's talking about you know people or a person who has passed away but I love that this song doesn't give you any sadness. You know it's it's, it's just celebrating the, audi the, the artist. The artist and their contributions to music and the incredible lives that they had mm -hmm. while they were here. And I think that, I think that is really beautiful in itself because a lot of times when we think about people who have passed, we get really sad, but it's, it's good to honor the, the happy times when they were alive and all the music and joy that they brought into people's lives. I almost feel as if they're giving us their song recommendations. <laughs> that is very true. There's, there are a lot of people, um, every single one that they mentioned, that would be great to, to listen to their music. Um, I'm a huge Janice fan, mm -hmm. so I can't believe we haven't even thought of her. Um, and and then I'm, I'm sure there are a lot of other artists who have passed since this song that I can see somebody new coming along mm -hmm. and making this song again to include some other artists. That would be a great idea. Yeah, I wonder if it's been done already. It could have been done already. I have no idea. But that was fantastic. It is no wonder everybody in the comments in our Righteous Brothers videos were asking for Rock and Roll Heaven and a lot of other songs too. A lot of just Bill songs, a lot of just solo Bobby songs that we have yet to do and we're really excited to do as well. And I just, I loved that. So do I. <laughs>
It makes things so much easier. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.